Good evening and welcome back again. So we're away to St. Johnson today in the Europa League. We've had to make significant changes and if you look there, Martinelli's actually injured. We got a notification after the last match. He's only out for three days, so he should just miss this match, potentially the next one as well, because I think we've got another match in three or four days. And we've got quite a few people that were tied and on downward oranges. Gonna have to go with what we've got. So we've got Mandanda, the second choice goalkeeper. We've got Baca and McDowell as the wingbacks. Balbuena and Ogbonna coming in. We've got Herrera, Cousins and Mariba starting in midfield. And we've got Bajer, Mudrik and Xerxes up top. It's an interesting one. I didn't know St. Johnson were in this game. So it's nice to have some different teams in. And as you saw, there were a few players on Oranges that have started, which I don't normally do, but we just need to. And the likes of Martinelli's out injured, so we'll pretty much have to play Mudrick, who's on the downward orange. Mariba hasn't started in a few matches because he's been on that downward condition for a while. He was on a downward full red uh, for a couple of matches. So we're going to start him in place of Vieira pretty much. Just need to mix things up to freshen the legs. And it is against what we would hope or a team that we should beat. So hopefully it shouldn't cause too much problems. But you never know. You never know on this game. Back on the overlap here. Oh, nice ball into Mariba. Oh, that's absolutely skied. It looked closer than what it was, I think. He actually struck it well. I just put too much power into it. The actual contact was too good. Nice header by Mariba, but there's not really anyone there. Good tackle from Ogbonna. You have to be careful. It's easy to give a penalty away on pairs. That's a poor ball. The last, the last match we played well, but it ended up being 2-1 in the end, and it wasn't a very comfortable finish. In fact, they should have won it in the end. In the 90th minute, they had a, a glorious chance and uh, hit it wide. Yes, uh, nice attempt at a flick, but maybe not being too fancy to start the game. Keep it simple for now. Nice ball out wide to Baca there. Very impressed with Baca as a wing back. There's Cousins. Oh, just too many defenders in the way. Maybe trying to be a bit too cute with that pass. Nice ball. And Herrera. Oh, he's offside. Oh, why didn't I just shoot? I mean, he's... Barely. Looks... Yeah. Maybe a shoulder or something. The angle was tight, which is my thoughts on passing. Um, the can't play advantage. It was about 10 seconds ago. That was ridiculous. But, and then my player decided to just switch off. And that's caused the goal. And that is absolutely ridiculous. I don't understand the uh, advantage because sometimes the referee gives you... Well, not me, but normally the computer gives them ages of time. Um, you have had three or four touches since the foul. And then other times, you know, if you have one touch and then give it away, you don't get the advantage. It's, it's strange. And that's cost us there. Still should have defended the corner. But... Um, not happy with that at all. Come on, 
Come on, where's the attackers? I'm not getting any support today. Down on the uh, on the right there. Zixi, great header, and a lovely cross from McDowell. Don't score too many headers, and I want this more from Zixi. Nice play from Bajer. Good ball in from McDowell, and a nice header. Relatively simple goal, really. I want to score more of those. There's too often that when we get. Well, when we put a cross and we just don't get on the end of it. And maybe that's just Pez 20. 20. Maybe that's Pez 2021 in a nutshell, but um, if I can get my words out. We're even out. Ah, it's poor. Ran straight into the defender. Just clear on that, not taking any chances. Hasn't worked. There we go. Back has got it now. Now Maribe, good chance to break forward here. It was a really nice ball. It was maybe just like literally a couple of inches too hard. Oh, Madrid. Oh, it just goes out. Unlucky. Nice play from Herrera. That was XC. To Bajet. Back to Zixi. Oh, that's poor, is it? No. It went in. It looked like it was a poor pass to me and the defender switch off and Marib has gotten the end of it and scored. I'm not sure what happened there. I'll have to watch that again. See, so i got Zixi here. Nice port of Jair. Yeah, I just thought the defender was going to get in there and we've slotted it away. Good job I reacted. Nice finish. Well, that's a bit of a bonus. So we're actually in the lead for the first time today. Oh, Mudrick's got a bit of space here, and he is pacey. Mudrick. Of course, he is on a downward orange, so... It affects... I can't remember how much it actually affects... She starts by let's take a certain percentage or a certain amount of points so you are going to find that you're finishing and you're passing it's just going to be a little bit off oh, just over stretch there back at uh, yeah that was a little trip but I do find that it's the stats don't just go up and down with condition. It almost seems to... The players seem to play very different. Uh, I don't know how to describe it, but it's almost like... You feel a bit luckier when you've got the condition, say, on a, like, a proper full-up. Um, like Things just seem to go your way. It's, it's the only way I can describe it. And there it is, 3-1. Bashir with the goal. On the stroke of half time. It was a really nice run from uh, Mudrick. He plays it across to Xerxes. A little flick. He's done that quite a few times. He's got some assists with little flick passes. And Bajer slots it away. Keeper was sort of in no man's land. Good way to end the half. And we weren't on it the first 20 minutes or so. And we obviously fell behind. And it wasn't just the goal that we let in. And we just weren't really firing. That should kick us into gear in the second half. And there it is. 
Xerxes and Marie Benberger with the goals. Stats wise, 61%, five shots with three on target. They had two shots. It was really a half that was split in two. Pretty bad in the first half of that. Second half have been dominating. And you would hope that we can sort of consolidate and push on now. Need to, you know, just not overplay things and, you know, not be too cocky or anything. It's only a two goal lead, can easily evaporate. Maribe, oh, no. I could have actually taken that down, I think. It's a really nice cross again from McDowell. And, um, couldn't really generate the power accuracy from that standing position and if I could just chested it maybe but I've had time possibly Cousins that's going to be a foul how is that not a foul and then they get fouls and advantages and all sorts don't get it it's exactly the same type of tackle oh really nice pass there now Cousins Mariba, ah, you see, if Mariba was not on a downward condition there, I think he would have taken that and had a chance on goal. Here's Ogbonna. Ogbonna. Oh, that's a terrible effort. Don't want to see you replay that. That was awful. Really nice play from Herrera there. And I was just guessing Berger would have been over there. Wasn't even looking at the map or anything. Here's Cousins. Nice play. Herrera. Nice dummy. Oh, that would have been a lovely goal. Some nice little passes and moves in there. He just lost control. Just a heavy touch. That's all it took. But Herrera's got it back again. Herrera. Oh, my word. How close was that? We'll make some subs, but I want to see the replay. I've said it before, but Herrera does not score many in all, but when he does, they're normally absolute thunderbolts. Okay, so we're going to bring on Carlos Perez for Berger, Houghton for Madrid, and we are going to bring on Arcas for Marie Bear midfield. And remember, Arcas has been sold, but it will go through in the summer because the transfer window is closed at the moment, obviously. So he will still get some match time, probably not that much. Um, he hasn't been getting... That. Yeah, I was going to say that was a foul. He hasn't been getting too much match time, which is part of the reason why I'm selling him. But he's still a very good player. He's very good all round. He can play in multiple positions. He's done a very good job for the club. I'm not selling him because I think he's a bad player in the slightest. That's a poor ball from Cousins. Back at gets the ball. Perez. Oh, very unlucky. Did so well. Close control. Let's have a look at this again. Nice little flick again from Xerxes. Look at that close control and he just fell over at the last second which made the shot go off target nice play from Herrera I think Herrera's been the best player in this match he won't get man of the match I don't think um, he's been fantastic though oh lovely play Cousins Oh, just wide. That would have been a lovely goal. I thought it was in. So, it's Friday the... Uh, sorry, it's not Friday. It's Thursday. I keep thinking it's Friday. It's Thursday the 6th of April today as I'm recording. So, when this comes out, it's probably going to be May. So, I'm about um, almost a month ahead in terms of recording Pez videos. I've been recording some Resident Evil 4 as well, the remake. Um, and the new EA Golf game. EA PGA Tour is coming out tomorrow 
so I'm really looking forward to playing that. Obviously, by the time you see this video, there's probably already going to be videos on the channel of uh, the game, the golf game. Oh, Xerxes with a tap in. mcdowell has got two assists today, I think. He nearly had a, a third earlier, or would have been a second at the time. He could be in for man of the match just from stats alone. It'll probably go to Xerxes, actually. Nice play. A low ball this time, and Xerxes there, tap it in. But yeah, I'm thinking of doing a live stream on Twitch tomorrow for the golf game. And then I'll upload the VOD. Like I say, that'll already be on there if you're watching this. But I'm thinking of maybe doing a career mode on that. Or just the odd video, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe I'll just do live streams and then upload the VODs. Don't really know. It's quite a good chilled live stream, probably. Good block there. Still got just under 15 minutes left. We don't want to lapse in concentration and give another goal away, which is what we did the first time, and it was from a, a set piece. And we nearly did again. Good save by the keeper. Nearly got unlucky. Perez with a bit of space here. Now Xerxes. Hampton. Oh, lovely finish. I thought he overran it, and it, he did really. Houghton is such a good sub. I don't know if he's got the super sub... Um, not perk. What do you call it? Trait. Or skill. But he might do. Yeah, just slightly over hit. With his touch. But he slots it away. Very cool finish. There's her again, mopping up. And when I was talking about um, potential transfers we could make, I can't remember if it was this video or the previous one, um, I was talking about positions we could improve. I was talking about defensive midfield, like, well, it was terrible, I don't know what that was. To have an out and out, you know, defensive midfielder that we bought, thinking of that. But Herrera's done such a good job in that defensive role. Arcas, wide. I wouldn't say he's an out-and-out -out defensive midfielder. He's, he's really a, a centre midfielder that is combative, but he's got good pass on him. He's got a decent shot on him. A very good shot, actually. He just doesn't score many. But when we dropped him deeper to play defensive mid, um, yeah, he just he's very, very good. And when we looked at the stats, I remember, I think, was it the end of last season? I can't remember what it was. And, you know, the amount of times he had won the ball and the passes he had made and dribbles and all sorts of stats. He was, like, in the top three for lots of different things. Um, and he's a player that probably goes a little bit more noticed than others just because of, of his position. He's, But he makes the, the game run. Um, Arcas. Perez. Oh, I should have scored there. I know the keeper saved it, but that should have been... Um, in the back of the net. Perez. Cousins. Corner maybe. Yeah, it'd be a corner. Last chance most likely of the game. Oh, good flick header. There was no one there to get it. It was a shot, but someone else could have maybe gotten the end of it. That should be it. We'll just control it. There we go. 5 1. Brilliant win. And in the end, we had about two thirds of the possession, a massive amount of shots. And really, the only time St. Johnson troubled us was on set pieces. They scored off a corner and they nearly scored again in the last sort of 20 minutes. And like I thought, Xerxes got mana match. I'm surprised he got an 8. That's really good. I do think Herrera should have got more. McDowell clearly should have got more. He got a couple of assists and nearly had a third. Really good all-round performance.
And some good news, we just got a message that Martinelli is fully fit for the next match. That's really good. The second leg of that Europa League will be uh, not the next match, but the one after that. The next match is back in the league. So hopefully you can join us for that one. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below and subscribe to the channel. But I'll see you all next time. Cheers.